Hello and welcome back to another speed build video. My name is Jess and I'm building in Willow Creek on a 20 by 30 lot and today's build is a base game starter home so kind of in celebration of the base game becoming free to play I wanted to build something that any new player would be able to use. So this is definitely a challenge using just base game but I really wanted to try and make a modern looking house. So I went ahead and used items in the base game that I think kind of have a more modern lean to them, like the arch windows and the arch doors and things like that. And I think I was able to get like a pretty, pretty modern looking house and something that really stands out. Really, really happy with how this exterior turned out. And part of the reason why is because of this fence piece from um, Live Edit. It's so cute. And I think works so well with the kind of white brick of the house. So now you can see I'm moving on to some landscaping and I just used kind of all my classic favorites and uh, what we have in base game. And I think that it turned out really nice and looks a little overgrown but still kept up just enough. And yeah, I, I'm always happy when I just get to use all my favorite <laughs> landscaping objects and I was able to. So happy girl. So there was quite a bit of space around the build. So I just wanted to fill it in with a few trees uh, just to make it feel a little bit more closed in and like it's its own area in the world. Really, really liked how that turned out with all the different types of trees I added in. And you can see it adds in some nice shading. Um... But one thing I wanted to mention was I have those numbers out front, and if you're wondering where those are from, that's actually some no CC gallery art, so you can download it from the gallery, and it's just different paintings people have done in-game that look a lot like custom content, but they don't come up in your game as that, so it just adds a little bit, especially when you're limited to base game, to be able to add just a few more elements to make your build extra interesting. So I'll be sure to leave all of the names of the creators that I use in this build because I also do use quite a bit of art on the inside as well. So you can see we finished up the living room very quickly and the dining room. I wanted to try and add in a bit of color, especially right next to this kitchen because the kitchen is such a bright white. There's not a lot of color going on, and I also tried to add in some color by using shelves, of course. It's me, so I had to clutter up some kitchen shelves in this build, and I just used a bunch of different items from Debug. So you can see me just kind of putting them all together and figuring out a layout that I think worked pretty nicely. Um, I had a lot of fun kind of searching through Debug to see what would work. And like one thing I don't often use are these sugar and flour packets, but I think they look really cute in this build. And I did use the sheet music actually to make it my own custom book stack that was free. So it wouldn't be my first choice, but definitely it's pretty good looking for something that's completely free in The Sims. So after that, um, I just added in a few little items for the counter and we're going to get moving on into the kids' room. And in the kids' room, I went for an orange and yellow color scheme. And I was able to add in a computer. I was very excited I was able to add that into this build with the budget. And in the parents' room, I went for more of a gray kind of color scheme. But that actually means we're coming to the end of the video. So I want to thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you have a great day. Bye.